from Dallas to Los Angeles and a screen near you. Here is B Wildcat 2. And welcome back everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, this is week 12 of the NCAA Football 13 Big 14 Conference Simulation. Last time around week 11, we had a had a good week, I would say, a couple of upsets, but other than that, it was a good week. Nebraska won again. That means they've got six wins now in the season. We'll take a look at the scores and the schedules now here in just a moment. Nebraska at six and three, four and two in the conference will travel to Iowa State, who is three and five, two and three in conference play this week, so that one will be last, of course. Florida State and Virginia Tech, that should be a good matchup. FCS Southeast. Florida, Florida looking to become uh, seven and three. FCS East and Alabama. Alabama will become uh, nine and one. Kansas four and five, two and four in the conference, traveling to Lubbock to take on Texas Tech, who is six and two, three and two in conference, the number fifteen team in the country. Can Texas Tech make a bowl game again? I mean, they've still got four chances to do it, but they'd like to do it and get it done quickly. They want to finish ten and two. So we'll go to the simulation. How will Texas Tech do against Kansas? It'll be Texas Tech clinching a bowl game for certain with a 48 to 14 win over the Kansas Jayhawks. Kansas falling to 4 and 6, 2 and 5 in conference play now. Texas Tech improves to 7 and 2, 4 and 2 in the conference and they're still ranked high up in the conference play. Texas A&M 5 and 4, 3 and 2 in Big 14 play. They travel to Stillwater to take on the 6 and 2 Oklahoma State Cowboys, 3 and 2 in the conference as well. Winner of this one will have either way, unless Oklahoma State wins. Uh, well, the winner of this one will be four and two in conference. The loser will be three and three. One team might have six wins. If A and M wins, both will have six wins. If Oklahoma State wins, Oklahoma State clinches bowl eligibility, like a certain bowl game, for certain. That is what will happen, folks. Oklahoma State pulls it out narrowly at the end, with the. Uh, a field goal or a t the touchdown right here is what gave Oklahoma State the lead in their eventual win as they improved to 7 and 2, 4 and 2 in the conference. Texas A&M falls to 5 and 5 with two games to go. They need to win both of them to get a definite bowl game. They need one more win though for a definite light like, for bowl eligibility. They are now 3 and 3 in conference. Oklahoma State is 4 and 2. Colorado 3 and 6. They have three games to go. They need to win all of them if they want to just hope for a prayer that they're going to be bowl eligible. They're 2-4 in the conference. They're traveling to uh, a tough task against the Kansas State Wildcats who are 6-3, and 4-2 and in conference. If Kansas State wins, they're definitely going to a bowl game. Uh, if they don't, they've still got two, uh, two more chances after this if they don't win. Colorado has to win out, though, which will be tough. Oklahoma or Colorado will not be going to a bowl game this year. They are three and seven right now, two and five in conference. After Kansas State wins forty two to twenty three, Kansas State improves to seven and three on the season, five and two in Big Fourteen play. They've got the opposite records of each other. So Kansas State will be in the bowl game this year. Good for them. Indiana, they're traveling to Wisconsin, who's number three in the country, have not lost in the Big Ten yet. Georgia Tech is still ranked. They're taking on North Carolina. Notre Dame, 7-2, and 5-2 and two in Big Ten Conference, traveling to Boston College, who's 3-6, and 0-6 oh in the, Ace, pardon me, the ACC. Wow. Arkansas, South Carolina, a good game there. Iowa, Purdue, that ought to be a good one. Rivalry game, anything can happen. LSU, the number one team in the country, still uh, hoping to be undefeated. They got four games to go. They're taking on Mississippi State this week. Cincinnati, number two, they're still undefeated. They got to take on a tough Temple team who's seven and two. They're number Cincinnati's number two in the country. Wake Forest and NC State, Georgia, Auburn, and the game of the week. Georgia is seven and two, tenth in the country. Auburn is six and three, two and three in conference. They're not ranked. Stanford and Oregon State in a tough Pac-12 battle or Pac-10, excuse me, Oregon and Cal in uh, what should be an easy win for Oregon. Here we go. And we're going to Boise State and Hawaii. Uh, Boise State looking to uh, keep 
stay in the top 25 in USC Arizona. USC just looks to improve to eight and one. Baylor four and five, two and three in Big 14 play. Travels to Oklahoma, who's already clinched a bowl game for certain. Oklahoma's got five games, or no, they don't have five games. They've got four games to go, and they've got a seven and one record. Baylor has three games to go. And they have a four and five record, two and three in conference. Oklahoma's four and one in conference. Baylor needs to win two of their next three just to have a chance at being bowl eligible. Here against Oklahoma, what will happen? Most likely Oklahoma will become eight and one. And that is exactly what happens as Oklahoma wins thirty eight to twenty four over the Baylor Bears, meaning Baylor has to win its next two games to just to have a prayer of hoping to go to a bowl game as they are now four and six, two and four in the conference. Oklahoma with the win improves to eight and one, five and one in Big Fourteen play, the highest ranked team in the Big Fourteen as far as top twenty five polls go. That's it for the top twenty five for the Big Twelve Big Fourteen matchups. Now we look at the non Big Fourteen matchups. There's only two of them. Nebraska six and three, four and two in conference and against Iowa State. And the other game is West Virginia Six and three themselves, three and three in conference. They go to Missouri. Uh, either way, one of the, both of these teams. If Missouri wins, they'll be bowl eligible. West Virginia already is bowl eligible. But this ought to be a good game. The winner, uh, both teams will have. Uh, well, no, I'm not gonna say anything. Uh, anyway, it'll be West Virginia clinching a bowl game with a 44 to 23 victory over the Missouri Tigers meaning that Missouri has to win at least one if they want to be bowl eligible uh, if they want to definitely clinch a bowl game they ought to win their next two though which might be tough for them so West Virginia is now seven and three four and three in conference Missouri falls to five and five two and four in the conference after West Virginia wins 44 to 23 and now Nebraska six and three, four and two in conference, traveling to Iowa State three and five, two and three in conference. Iowa State needs a miracle to clinch a bowl game. They gotta win three of the next four, or uh, all four, if they wanna just to be able to go to a bowl game. Nebraska looking to clinch a bowl spot with this win over Iowa State, and it will be Nebraska 24, Iowa State 14. Nebraska is going to a bowl game, folks. Nebraska is seven and three. 5-2 and two record in conference play. Iowa State needs to win its next three games just to be bowl eligible. So the odds are against them as they are now 2-4 and four in conference play as Nebraska wins 24-14. to 14. So thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed week 12 here in the Big 14 simulation. And uh, you got to let me know if you want a new season or not. I know you probably won't see this um, when I'm recording it. Definitely not. I mean, there, we haven't even put up week six yet, so um, so you gotta let me know uh, if you want another season of this. If you already haven't, so keep pro keep uh, pressing me for it, and uh, maybe you'll get you guys will get it. So thanks for watching, and uh, talk to you in week thirteen.